Hello, my name is Riley Robson. I am 10 years old and I am in fourth grade, maybe fifth grade if, if school is canceled because of COVID-19. And today we are gonna be talking about God's, God's love and kindness and, and Jesus's, and, and the cruc, and how Jesus was crucified and, and his resurrection. So today we are gonna be reading one of my personal favorite books. It's called Savvy and Maddie's First, First Adventure. And in this book is about how Maddie and how Maddie is kind is very kind of sa savvy and he doesn't define who she is. And I'm gonna read the book now. Savvy and Maddie's First Adventure by Kendra Kendra. Preston. Savvy was a kind of giraffe who loved everything about school. Well, almost everything. Art class was her favorite. She also liked reading, writing, and math. But then there was gym class. Savvy hated gym class. Even though she knew she shouldn't hate anything, gym class was the worst. Savvy was tall and a bit clumsy. She could hardly walk, walk without tripping over her own feet. On top of that, she didn't look like other giraffes. The spots on her, whoopsies, the spots on her neck and face were all different colors, not just brown. Most of the time, this didn't bother Savvy. She just wore turtlenecks or shirts with high collars to, com to cover up most of the spots. But in gym class, she had to wear a special uniform that showed lots of her colorful fur. Savvy, Savvy's classmates would often stare and point at her. Sometimes they would whisper to one another. This made her feel anxious and shy. Then there was Maddie. Maddie was a spunky monkey with no cares in the world, or so everyone thought. He didn't even seem to notice Savvy's unusual spots. M Maddie also seemed to be good at about out of everything he tried. Savvy wished he, she could kick a soccer ball or dribble a basketball like Maddie. Today they were playing basketball in gym class. Savvy was dreading it. Catch it! Even so, she got even so she got in the line with everyone else, and she shuffled outside to the basketball courts. As everyone was walking, Maddie noticed Maddie noticed how his classmates were laughing and whispering about Savvy's spots. It was the same way they teased him about having a girl's name and liking the color purple. This made Maddie feel sorry for Savvy. So to try her cheering up, to try to cheer her up, Maddie decided to choose Savvy first to be on his basketball team. He knew she wasn't a very good player, but, she did, but he didn't mind. Savvy couldn't believe her ears when Maddie, when Maddie called her name. M -m Me? She stammered. Yep, he said, smiling. This was the first time Savvy had not been picked last. She felt amazing. Once, once the game began, Maddie came up with a brilliant idea. Maybe he could ride on Savvy's back so that he could get closer to the hoop and even try to dunk. It was a bumpy ride, and even though Savvy, it was a bumpy ride, and even though Savvy was a bit, wasn't very graceful. The, their team managed to score a few points and have a lot of fun. Savvy's team didn't win the game. The score was 30 to 25, but it was the first time she had actually enjoyed gym class. Hey, Maddie, she said. Thanks for including me on your team today. No problem, he replied. Maybe we can try it again this next week. Definitely, she exclaimed, feeling happier, happier than she ever thought. Was was possible on a gym day. Now one of the things that I really think is cool in, in this book is 
as at the back on the dedications. The first dedication in this book is to Jesus, who never stops encouraging us to treat others the way we wish to be treated. And you can look up a verse about that, and I would really encourage you to look that, that up after, we, after we're finished in Luke 6.31. That's Luke 6.31. That was a really good book. And I encourage you after this to talk about how Maddie helped. Maddie was very, how Maddie was kind to Savvy. 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 Jesus, the important part about Easter is Jesus being, is being crucified and also happily being raised. The whole point of Easter is just, is always about Jesus. And Jesus is our savior. And it's, and it's something really kind that he had a lot of God's love and never sinned. And that he also, that also, he took all of our sins, he was sinless and took all of our sins away when he died. And he was raised on the third day and then if, and then I think 40 days later, he went up to heaven and his disciples shared his love, which is, which in my opinion is really awesome that, that he got to do that. So, so my message for you today is on Easter day, I, I would have a special prayer for Jesus that he will, that he will come again. We are now going to pray. Let's fold our hands. Dear God, thank you for bringing us all here today to learn about you, Lord. We pray that on we pray that on Easter that we celebrate Jesus' resurrection and just everything is fun. Lord, we pray for everyone. We pray for everyone who has co corona, the coronavirus and we pray that they all get well. We pray that everyone ha shares an act of your love and kindness during this during this hard time. And we pray in your name we pray, amen. Thank you to Pastor Tim for, for help having us do these devotionals. And I just, it's really, it just is really fun to do this. And for my, for talk, and for my video person, Ryan Robinson. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching this devotional.